Hey guys, welcome back to my channel to uh, Soup's Doing It Yourself. So we have something actually different here, guys. Sorry, it's been a while since I've uh, put a video up. Uh, I'm in the, in the process of moving to a different house. So, uh, but let me show you what I got going on. What'd you say? Hey guys. Say, uh, let's show them. Let's show them. C95, C1500 guys, it's been in the family I believe since the 90s or maybe early 2000s, but um, uh, I do want to do a shout out to my friend Chris from uh, First Choice Pen and Body. He actually was the one to help me put this supercharger back on. I've never put a supercharger on any kind of mortar before, so I'm slowly putting back this uh, truck together. Right now it's riding a little rough. Um, I've already changed the tensioner. Tensioner went out. Apparently that you can't find this tensioner in a local auto parts it's, I believe for uh, it goes from an 88 to 91 uh, Chevy Corvette if I'm not mistaken and the other thing was uh, when I got the parts for the supercharger I had a few parts missing uh, one of the rare parts that I had missing and because of Chris He knew someone that knew how to customize a spacer for me and uh, Also the top bracket for the to hold down the snout on the supercharger again uh, Chris I really appreciate you helping me out on this project again if it wasn't for him Guys, uh, I don't think I'd, uh, I'd even try to attempt this, to be honest with you. I'll show you what it sounds like now. Um, as of right now, like I said earlier, I've replaced the tensioner. I've already replaced the belt. Obviously, it has to have a different type of belt. And uh, I've already replaced the uh, temperature sensor, hoping that I can get lucky on uh, fixing the issue that I have going on. It runs a little rough. It idles up and down. I don't have any vacuum leaks that I know of yet. And I've also replaced the idle air control valve. So let me show you what it sounds like as of right now, guys. Well, as you can see, guys, it jumps idle. Um, after a short amount of time, it actually gets a little worse. You can just hear it hesitate a bit. <laughs> so I'm hoping the parts we change out makes it sound better one step at a time and then uh, we'll see from there. I'll show you the parts that we're about to add on and uh, hopefully it fixes the issue or help it run a little better. We manufactured TBI and um, it looks a lot better and obviously cleaner than the uh, one I'm going to pull out and I'll show you a video of it and also the uh, injectors so I'm hoping that fixes uh, one of the main issues as far as the idle goes also we're gonna add on a distributor cap oil and plugs and wires as well We're about to put the new uh, TBI in. I already swapped up all the parts I need from the old one. You can see, guys, it's pretty dirty. I could have rebuilt this, but I, uh, I'd rather just uh, go ahead and buy a new one already rebuilt. It's probably going to be a little bit more expensive, but in the end, I just want to make sure I get it done right the first time. As you can see, the fuel pressure regulator is more closer now. I'm leaking from all over the gasket. Again, I could have just replaced the gasket, but I didn't want to take a chance that that fuel pressure regulator is bad or not. So I'd rather just replace the whole thing. And uh, I already got the wires. As you can see, all the old wires on the floor. Got the new coil in with the new distributor cap. And also underneath there, I didn't show, but a uh, rotor. And uh, there's the new wires on both sides there. And the other side. I'm going to go ahead and put the TBI back on. Put the uh, fuel lines on and the uh, air cleaner. And uh, let's see this thing run. It's hopefully we get lucky on the first try. Uh, 
replacing the TBI, I replaced the cap and rotor, the spark plugs, the spark plug wires, some small stuff like the, uh, the coolant sensor, a couple of vacuum hoses. I was gonna replace everything anyway. Just to give you an idea of what the issues I was having with the truck, um, if I revved it high, it would backfire from the intake. Moving along, as like I said, my friend Chris, and we both came to the conclusion that uh, maybe it's the fuel pump. We tested the fuel pump. It was off by one PSI, which obviously made a huge difference in this truck due to the fact that it's supercharged now. Finally got the truck running right. I was actually excited, uh, test road and everything. So engine is good to go. But we still have a lot more things to replace in this truck. The main things we need to take care of next is uh, the exhaust, because it doesn't have one now, and it is way too loud to be driving this truck around. And also, we need to replace all four shocks. They are shot. I probably didn't mention this earlier in the video, guys, but actually, this truck is actually four inches dropped in the front, and as you can see, six inches dropped in the back. What I will be installing today is, I'll show you here. She's a little old, and she's got a couple of stains on the carpet, but no biggie. And, uh, Finally got passed on to me, which I'm very grateful for, thanks to my grandpa. There's blue LEDs for the dash, and we have some uh, LED kits for the interior lights, like the uh, top one here. I believe there's one down there, and there's another one down there. I'll show you here that the regular bulbs that it has now, as you can see, it's not that bright. It's good enough, obviously, to you know drive around, but I, I like to see it brighter. I'm going to go ahead and take off this uh, dash and uh, get those bulbs out and put the new ones in. idea what they look like I'll turn them on now as you can see as you can see they're all white LEDs now we got the back one going on there uh, we got the front uh, this side and of course the driver's side as well all white LEDs and I even did these here push the button push the button and as you can see, it makes a big difference uh, compared to what it was. But the main point is to show you these dash lights. So I'll show you what that looks like now. As you can see, the other lights are also a little different. Um, the only one that's not is the check, uh, the check gauges light. I left that one alone. Uh, but the uh, purple one, there's actually blue behind it. That's why it looks purple. Same for the check engine light. It's a blue light, so it shines as yellow. And, uh, well, I didn't get a chance to show you the brake light, but the brake light's basically purple as well, guys. All right, so this is what the lights look like, guys. Uh, as you can see, the baby blue, pretty bright in person, guys. The next one I gotta do is these. Uh, they're pretty dim. Um, I forgot to order those. But overall, guys, I'm happy with it. Like I said, you can see the, uh, the gauge lights, and you can see the interior lights as well. Looking pretty good. Next, what I'll be doing today is if I can get it all done, I actually got the uh, header gaskets. Busted, so I'm really hoping I don't have any issues. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start on the right side. Obviously, you're not going to be able to see them much, but uh, you can see the front one there, the silver part there, that's the new one. And uh, we already took care of this side and the other side. I didn't record the other side because it's pretty much the same concept, but I'm not going to lie. That back corner back there was a pain. As you can see, there's a lot more stuff on this side, electrical and stuff, versus this side is way more open. So these are the old ones here. As you can see, they're, they're pretty bad. Um, as you can see, that's where the... Uh, Pressure was escaping from the rear, and as well as also escaping in the, in the center. Uh, and usually in the dark areas is where it indicates where the pressure is coming out from. So, and then there's the other side. Where you can see there's a chunk there missing. 
center was broken on this one obviously I showed you earlier on the video and uh, this one here uh, in the front as well that's gonna be the end of this video guys um, the next thing I'll be doing on the truck will be uh, the shocks all the way around I already ordered them I'm just waiting for them to come in the mail I um, I ordered I believe the brand is Belltech but keep watching guys don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and just to stay updated to see how soon this thing is gonna be on the road guys so uh, see you next time